NHSP Online is an online shift booking platform which captures all your requirements for bank staff by allowing you to place your requests for shifts and even book bank workers directly into shifts. Logging into NHSP Online is really simple. Make sure you have your username and password ready when you visit our website. Click Login and then NHSP Online. The system can work better through the NHS N3 login option, so it's worth trying this option if you're experiencing slow performance. Once you've logged in, you'll be able to request shifts, manage shifts, view notifications, authorise and verify or modify timesheets. So how do you request a shift to be filled? From Menu Options, select Request Entry. You can then select the location and ward for the shift you want to request. You should define the assignment type and area where the shift is needed. This is essential to specify which staff group and area of expertise is required. Take care to select the correct job code, which is the reason for the shift request. This allows senior management at the Trust to improve the efficiency of workforce planning. Click Add Request. You'll know that the shift has been requested when a unique reference number appears. If you already know the name of a flexible worker who you would like to direct book into the shift, you can simply click here. Remember to let the flexible worker know that you've booked them to fill this shift. Sometimes it won't be possible to book that person, if for instance their training, visa or professional registration has expired. They might already be booked into another shift at that time, or have already exceeded working time regulations. You can book up to five shifts at once for the same location or ward. To view the status of any shift requested, simply go to the main menu and click Booking Status. Your requested shift will be coloured green in the Flexible Worker column if a flexible worker has booked the shift and green in the Status column if the ward is aware that the shift has been filled. Blue indicates the shift was transferred to an agency and has been filled. The name of the agency will appear in brackets next to the worker's name. And red specifies the shift is currently unfilled or that the flexible worker has not yet confirmed they accept the shift booking. We have found shifts requested less than 48 hours before the shift start time tend to remain unfilled or get filled by expensive agency workers, so try to request shifts as early as possible to have a much higher chance of filling them with bank workers and keeping your costs down. If for any reason you need to cancel a shift that you've requested, go to the main menu, select Booking Status, find the shift you want to cancel and select the Cancel link you'll need to select the most appropriate reason for cancelling. To continue, click Cancel Request or click Exit Without Cancelling to withdraw. If the shift has already been filled by a flexible worker, we need to let them know, so you'll need to select Worker Informed or Worker Not Informed. You can modify any shift up until the shift start time. To modify a shift, click Booking Status on the main menu. Once you've found the shift you want to alter, select the Modify link. You can modify information such as the date or time in the fields highlighted. Then select the appropriate option from the pop-up, which requests Worker Informed or Worker Not Informed, so we can keep the flexible worker up to date of any changes. Once a worker has completed their shift, it's really important to verify and authorise their timesheet as soon as possible, so they get paid on time. Flexible workers are more likely to work shifts on wards where their timesheets are authorised soon after the shift. To access a timesheet, simply go to the main menu and select Timesheets. You can then search for a specific timesheet here. Timesheets are automatically generated by NHSP Online once the shift has ended. Only timesheets for the current day will be displayed for verification and authorisation. Anything older than that can be viewed by using the search tool. If you are a ward clerk user level, you can verify a timesheet. Before you verify the timesheet, be sure to check the actual column to confirm the actual hours worked. If you're happy with the hours entered, select the verify link. A green tick will appear once the timesheet has been verified. A ward manager or senior admin user will then need to authorise the timesheet for payment. Simply select the authorise link. If you believe the hours in a timesheet to be incorrect, simply click the Modify link and you'll be able to change it. Set the correct start and end time for the shift, or select if the worker did not attend. 
If you are a Ward Clerk user verifying a timesheet, you won't be able to authorise, so please select Save and Verify. For a senior admin user to authorise a timesheet, simply select Save and Authorise. In both instances, it's important to leave a comment or reason for the modifications so that the flexible worker can understand and accept changes you've made. Contacting NHSP is easy. You can visit your local NHS Professionals Bank office or give our service centre a call. If you decide to call our service centre, remember to use your unique trust phone number which will allow us to identify your trust and put you through to call agents who know your trust. Alternatively, you can find your unique trust phone number and details of your local NHS Professionals Bank team on our website by clicking Contact Us and searching for your trust from the drop-down menu.